Well, hello again. I am back again with um, a recipe for another quick meal when you come home and you're so hungry. I'm going to make you some, uh, today I'm making some salmon. It's a quick salmon. You can eat it with salad. You can eat it. You can have it with bread. I'm putting a little bit of oil, just a tiny bit, so I can have my salmon in some oil. This is, I use olive oil to cook. So I'm going to make this fish here. So I just have a piece of salmon. I have salmon here, and I'm going to use my favorite seasoning salt by Lowry's. I use that almost all the time on everything I cook. It comes with a little seasoning and salt. So there's no need to put any more salt once you use this. And I'm going to put a little garlic. I just put a little bit. I don't normally use any measuring spoons. And this is another one of my very favorite seasonings. For some reason, I just don't feel like I'm cooking without this little guy. It's called Sazon. So I have that and I put, that's my, my fish. So I'm going to put a little bit of this Worcester sauce, just a little bit to make it nice. I'm going to make a very quick meal. And on top of that, I put this vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. When I cook my fish, I put a little balsamic vinaigrette. It sort of helps to take away the smell of the fish and kind of gives it a little vinegar it's taste so you don't end up with the smell of fish you want to eat fish but you don't want it to smell like the way you fish could smell so i got that and my little oil is in here burning so i'm about to i just turn it usually you can actually season it way before but this is called a quick meal for a reason this is like one of the to-go meals when you want to just cook something real quick and be able to eat. So my oil is already ready. Sorry, I had to defrost this. So I got my oil, I got my fish on there. Everything is going to be cooking at one time. And what I'm going to do is uh, cook it like that. Let me see what I have here. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my plates because I am doing mine on salad. So what I have is some romaine. You see, that's my fish going right there. That is my fish going. So we'll let it sit for a little bit and let it cook. And what I'm going to do actually is I have this. I cut these up. I'm going to kind of fry them a little bit. So we are going to give it a little simmer just like that. Let it cook and remember guys this is salmon so you really don't need much of cooking on fish unless if you like usually it's not supposed to be overcooked so you can actually prepare this in no time meanwhile i'm going to take my plate that i'm going to use for my salad and start preparing so i've done this i've done it put all that to the side oh you know what i normally put a little squeeze some lemon on it I, i'm trying to cook it on low heat but I'm ready to eat. So I, I usually can squeeze a little lemon on it too while it's cooking. There's something good about lemon that you just will never understand, especially when it comes to seafood. Especially when it comes to seafood. So my fish is in there cooking. I'm going to turn it. And salmon doesn't take too long to cook unless if you just like it overcooked and I'm going to... I just put my I just put my onions in there because I want my onions cooked. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my salad dish. That's my plate. Sorry, I got a lot of junk on here that shouldn't be here. And I have my salad plate and this is my salad. I just cut off some romaine and I just have just enough that I need on that plate. So I'm going to cut it up. 
I am cutting out this salad and I'm going to do it right there. That's my salad dish. Put that right there and I'm going to put that right there. And what I'm going to put on this salad, don't want to burn too much. I'm telling you, showing you how to cook the fast dishes that you just need when you are so hungry and ready to eat and you don't have time to wait. Just cook something, get it going. So this is my salmon going here. I don't like my salmon overcooked, so I'm gonna have to watch exactly what I'm doing here. Meanwhile, I'm preparing my salad dish. And this is, it's as simple as just let romaine. It's romaine and I'm using this vinaigrette, red wine vinaigrette. This is by a company called Marie's. And I'll just put a little bit of this right on top of the, because I want it to be ready when I'm ready to eat. I'm not trying to play games with it. So this is, this is going to be my dinner, honey. This is my dinner. So I have that, so that's ready. Let me check on this guy here. The fish is cooking, onions are ready. I think the onions are super, super ready. Let's turn this fish one more time. I'm gonna cook it a little bit more. Okay. So I got that there. Put this on the side a little bit because I really don't want my hot fish sitting right on my veggies. As much as I would want, um, I'll be mixing it, but still I wanna put it on the side so I can be able to still have room. Meanwhile, I put things away because I think I'm not gonna use this anymore. That's done. I'm done with that. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna have to drink. With my meal, I am going to have a glass of water today. It's Monday, so I think I'll do a glass of water. And that's gonna be my drink for tonight. Because we can drink water too sometimes during the week. And we gotta stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Okay guys, I got my water. I'm gonna turn this down because you know what? It's actually ready. See my fish? It's all cooked. And trust me, for salmon, this we can actually call overcooked because salmon doesn't really need much. So, I love onions. So anything with onions, you can give me and I'll eat. If you wanna poison me, put onions in the poison and I'll eat. So there's my, um, my dish. And let me do that because it's very nice. I love lemon, so lemon on fish is always good. So it's a good way if you want it to be looking decorative. And I have what I call tartar sauce, which I put on my fish too. I love tartar sauce on fish. So I'm gonna put a little tartar sauce right here. Oh, it's new and it's not been used yet. Oh, lucky it. So this tartar sauce is really good. For those who love fish, you either use, some people will use cocktail sauce, but I love my tartar sauce on my fish. Just a little bit. And guess what? We shall eat, we have a meal. This is what we end up having. Sorry guys, I'm kind of doing. See, this is what you end up having. And this is salmon salad, a salmon salad. And it's like a 10 minute dish if you're hungry and you're ready to eat. These are the little things that you can actually do quickly and you got your salmon and you got a meal this is my dinner tonight and thank you so much guys for watching and i'm gonna serve it with my water i'm eating with my water so i'm gonna put it on the table and i'll show you how it looks on the, on the table table is set Okay, guys, we are going to eat. Let me get this off here. So you can see where I'm going now. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And this is Rue Love's Kitchen. You are going to be watching more and more of these easy dishes. And we'll be cooking some more and some more and some more. Thank you so much. And this is... 
the outcome. This is the result and that's my table and I got a meal. Thank you for watching Salmon Salad Quick Dishes. I love you guys. We'll see you soon. And please be sure to follow my pages, Angel Rule Love, and follow me on YouTube, Ruth and Love the Summers. And I'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you.